We often hear about the health benefits of green tea, but we have some real tea to spill. Could green tea be toxic? Green tea supplements are readily available online and in stores, and they advertise a plethora of health benefits, including weight loss, but not so fast. One Texas man took these supplements for only a few months until problems started. He reportedly read online that they had cardiac benefits, but ended up having to be rushed to the hospital because his liver was failing and he needed an emergency transplant. So can too much of a good thing, including antioxidants in green tea, put our health at risk? Wow. This is a, a public service announcement in many ways, but let's clarify, green tea, actual green tea, does contain more flavonoids, catechins, EGCG. These are strong antioxidants. They contain more than black tea, but what we're talking about here is supplements. You know, when you look at some of the papers out there published, for instance, in the Annals of Internal Medicine, they did link dozens of cases of liver damage to these green tea supplements. And when you start looking at the supplements and how much, how concentrated the amounts of EGCG is, you can see why people might run into trouble. Yeah, and that's, that's true because a typical cup of green tea is 30 milligrams, if you actually drink it, of the catechins or EGCG. But these supplements are not regulated as medications or drugs, they are nutraceuticals. So they're putting in 400 milligrams, 600 milligrams, so many times this, and all you really so need to get- So one supplement might be the yeah. equivalent of 20 cups exactly. of green tea. Now no one out there in their right mind is going to drink 20 cups of green tea, right? When we say green tea is healthy, we're thinking if you have a couple of cups a day, that's great. But this gets back to the world of supplements, completely unregulated. This is an eye opener because of that lack of regulation. No one really knows what a safe level of EGCG is. And the problem is that something that is good in too great of a quantity can be really bad. I think what's so striking is there have been a range of case reports now where people are getting true liver failure requiring transplantation mm. just from That's doses that don't deal. seem that big, like 800 milligrams is enough to cause true liver toxicity. When you think about one of these tablets, this one has 400 milligrams, all you need is two. So I, I really think what you said in the tape piece, just too much of a good thing can be so dangerous. I just think if you're going to use a supplement, buyer beware, know exactly what you're getting, make sure you can trust the supplier but when it comes to things like green tea, my take has always been, if I want to enjoy the benefits of green tea, then I'm going to drink a glass of green tea. And I think that's good advice for anyone out there. What's really cool, maybe you don't like green tea. Well, other foods actually do contain these catechins, things like apples, sweet potatoes, ironically, even a little bit of red wine. Yeah, and, and cherries and blueberries. I mean, there are many sources out there in the diet that also have these polyphenols, so really good. So green tea, ice cream, that's okay. That's probably a little bit, <laughs> in moderation, probably okay.